Hi guys, maybe you're watching this because you were upset with forced Android updates, like me. I bought this used Lenovo tablet, which has been rooted by the pre-owner, and I got an ugly update problem. Because Lenovo thinks you don't need an option to deactivate updates. So every time I switch on my tablet, it starts automatically to download an update. So far, no problem. However, the tablet will reboot automatically. You just got this pop-up window to postpone the update for a short period. In my case, every time the tablet reboots, with the update it stacks in the Team Win Recovery project, Customer Recovery. Now, when it starts the tablet again, the automatic update download starts again too. So, without any further workaround, I got an endless loop of reboots and I can't enjoy my tablet anymore. You see, the update failed and it will start soon again to download it. Happily, the Lenovo engineers left us a possible workaround. Cause the update file seems to be deleted after a failed update. The tablet has to download the file every time again. That's our opportunity to get rid of the forced updates. First option, never use again the internet. You mean that's not an option? Okay, that's true. Let's consider another solution. I found a software called NetGuard in the Google Play Store. It's a free app. However, I paid the pro version to support the developer. With this app, you can block apps to get internet access. Could it be that the Lenovo update app can be blocked? Unfortunately, it seems that the update app isn't listed here. But there is an advanced option with the system apps, which I activated. Now try to search for update. If you find a system update program, you can now block it. You can disconnect it from Wi-Fi and cellular. In my case, I only have a Wi-Fi tablet, so that's enough. With these settings, I have to reboot my tablet one last time. Because in the meanwhile, the update has been downloaded again. And like before, the update has failed. The last step we make is to check if the updater can download the update again. It tries it for several seconds and get a timeout. Now we have blocked permanently this forced updates. I hope you enjoyed the video and I could help you. Bye bye.